Hello and welcome everyone. This is Dr. Saurabh and you are watching Slate and Pencil, an initiative of Sanskar Bharati Public School. So in this video, we will be discussing about uh, NCRT Class 8 Science Chapter 1, Crop Production and Management. We have learned that all living organisms require food to survive. We also know plant can prepare their own food and hence are known as autotrophs. But do you know how green plants synthesize their food? Yes, of course, photosynthesis. This is the process conducted by green plant in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. Moving forward, here comes the next question. Where do animals get their food from? So animals, which include human beings, are heterotrophs and get their food from plants, other animals and animal products. So if we move forward in the topic, we get another question. Why do we have to eat food? We all know food provides energy and energy help organism to perform different body functions. In order to provide food to such a large population like India, we need regular production, proper management and proper distribution. We will be discussing these three topics mainly in this chapter. How we regularly produce crops, how to proper manage the crop and crop field and the distribution of food, storage of food which is also very important. So what is crop? When same kind of plants are grown and cultivated over a large area, large scale, then that is known as crop. Area should be large and scale, the amount of crops cultivated should also be large. Then that plant will be called as crop. For example, if we have a paddy crop, means that all the plants will be of paddy. If we have a wheat crop, then all the plants in that field will be of wheat. In previous classes, we have also studied about different crops like cereals, vegetables, fruits. These are all classified on the basis of the season they grow. Types of the crop Based on the climatic condition of India, crops are broadly classified as Rabi crop and Kharif crop. Let's see a quick comparison between these crops. So here is the comparison between Rabi crop and Kharif crop. If we see clearly written, Rabi crops are grown in the winter season, whereas Kharif crops are grown in the rainy season. If we talk about the months, Rabi crops are grown in October to March, whereas Kharif crops are grown from June to September. If we talk about the example, Rabi crops are wheat, gram, pea, and Kharif crops are paddy, maize, and soybean. Beside these crops, pulses and vegetables are also grown during summer at many places. Cultivation of the crops in the field require many small and big activities. These are called agricultural practices. Some of the agricultural practices which we will see in this chapter are preparation of soil, adding manure, sowing, irrigation, protecting from weed, harvesting and then storage. Moving on to the first topic here, preparation of soil. It is the first step before growing a crop. Most and foremost is important step in agriculture is to turn and lose the soil. Loose soil allows root of new plants to penetrate deep into the soil. Loose soil also traps air which help roots to breathe. It also allows water to percolate inside the soil. Further, loose soil also allows some useful microbes like the one nitrogen fixing bacteria and earthworms to habitat. Also, turning the soil brings the nutrient rich layer on the top so that plants can use these nutrients. This whole process of turning and losing the soil is done using wooden or iron plow and this whole process is known as tilling or plowing. Hey, moving further, if you do like this video, consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to never miss another update. So moving further in this topic, we have agricultural implements. So tilling and plowing is done by hoe or a plow. Plow is used since ancient times for tilling purposes. Also, it is used for adding fertilizers to the crop, removing weeds and scrapping the soil. Studying about detail, plow contains plow shaft. Uh, it is a long wooden structure. It is a main part of the plow. A plow also has a plow sear which is triangular in shape with a handle at the top which farmer holds. Okay, so now we, if we talk about hoe, 
it is a simple tool which is used for removing the weed and for loosening the soil it has a broad strong broad bent plate made up of iron and it works like a blade okay talking about the cultivator cultivators are advanced form of the plow driven by tractors and they are more efficient and they saves labor and also time now the next topic which we have to discuss in this chapter is sowing and sowing means planting of crop plants into the field crop field if we are planting new plants to the crop field then that process is known as sowing but before ever sowing selection of good quality seeds is very important and what type of seeds are considered good quality seeds so good quality seeds should be clean and healthy seeds they should have a good variety and also they should have a high yielding capacity then they are considered as a good variety of seeds so this type of good variety of seeds are selected to select a healthy and a clean crop for sowing we do a method which is known as washing it we put that crop or seed into the water the healthy crop settle down whereas the crop which are hollow or not healthy they floats on the surface so this is the traditional method for separating a healthy crop from a diseased crop after selecting the seed in the process of sowing we have to put that seed into the soil and ncert talks about two method for doing this and this is traditional method and modern method traditionally it was done by a tool shaped like a funnel in which farmer put their crop and it was planted in the soil nowadays seed drills are being used seed drills are tractor driven they are more accurate they are more precise they deliver the crops at a definite and precise distance which helps the crops to grow and get the nutrients very well okay so moving further in the topic we have adding manures and fertilizers manure and fertilizers are added to the soil in the form of a nutrients for healthy growth of the plant and these are called manures or fertilizers actually what manures and fertilizers do they replenish the soil the soil has all the essential nutrients which plants uses for their growth and after a continuous cropping period or cropping method the soil get malnourished or the quantity of the nutrients in the soil decreases so to replenish that nutrients manures or fertilizers are added okay so on the screen there is a difference between fertilizers and manure if we talk fertilizer is an inorganic salt that is manufactured in the lab or in the factory whereas manure is a natural substance obtained from the decomposition of the cattle dung human waste or a plant residue like leaves or dead plants fertilizers on the other hand is prepared in the factories as i told earlier manure can be prepared in the field fertilizer does not provide any humus to the soil whereas manure provide a lot of humus to the soil fertilizers whereas are rich in plant nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus and potassium after a detailed comparison between the fertilizers and manure here we will discuss about the advantages of the manures they are the organic matters and they are considered better than the fertilizers nowadays people are using most of the products vegetables and fruits which are grown in the manure some of the advantages of the manure which we will discuss here are it enhances the water holding capacity of the soil whether it is a black soil red soil or a alluvial soil if manures are present or manures are given to that soil the water holding capacity increases it also makes the soil porous due to which exchange of the gases becomes easy and the roots of the plant can breathe easily it also increases the number of friendly microbes like the nitrogen fixing bacteria meanwhile it also increases the texture of the soil okay so another most clever way to replenish the soil nutrients is by crop rotation so in this topic what we will be discussing right now is irrigation water is required for survival of all living organisms water is absorbed by the plant roots along with the water all the essential nutrients which are needed for the plant growth and survival are also absorbed plant contains 90% of the water water also help plants both from frost and hot air currents supply of water to the crop at different interval is called irrigation the time and frequency of irrigation varies crop by crop soil to soil and season to season talking about the sources of irrigation wells tube wells ponds lakes rivers dams canals and rain is one of the important source in india some of the traditional methods of irrigation are shown in the picture 
दे आर मोट चेन पम्प ढेकली एंड राहट सम मॉडर्न मेथड्स ऑफ इरीगेशन इंक्लूड स्प्रिंकलर सिस्टम ड्रिप सिस्टम स्प्रिंकलर सिस्टम इज मोस्टली यूज फॉर अन इवन सर्फेस वेयर वाटर इज नॉट एवेलेबल इन सफिशेंट क्वान्टिटी ड्रिप सिस्टम इन दिस सिस्टम वाटर फॉल्स ड्रॉप बाई ड्रॉप जस्ट एट द पोजिशन ऑफ द रूट इट इज बेस्ट मेथड टू वाटर गार्डन प्लांट्स फ्रूट प्लांट्स एंड ट्रीज नेक्स्ट टॉपिक टू दिस चैप्टर इज द प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम वीड इन द क्रॉप फील्ड मेनी अनडिजरेबल प्लांट्स ग्रो नेचुरली अलॉन्ग विद द क्रॉप दीज अनडिजरेबल प्लांट्स आर कॉल्ड वीड द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिमूविंग वीड इज कॉल्ड वीडिंग इट इज नेसेसरी सिंस वीड कम्पीट्स विद द क्रॉप प्लांट फॉर वाटर न्यूट्रियट्स स्पेस एंड लाइट वीडिंग इन इंडिया इज डन मैनुअली बाई सिकल और अ प्लॉ वेयर एज सम फार्मर्स ऑल्सो यूज सम केमिकल्स विच आर कॉल्ड वीडिसाइड्स लाइक टू फोर डी दीज आर स्प्रेड इन द फील्ड टू किल द वीड बट दे आर नॉट गुड फॉर द हेल्थ सो अ प्रोपर केयर मस्ट बी टेकन वाइल यूजिंग दिस वीडिसाइड्स नेक्स्ट स्टेप विच इज हार्वेस्टिंग इज मोस्ट हैप्पीएस्ट मोमेंट ऑफ द फार्मर इन हिज लाइफ हार्वेस्टिंग ऑफ क्रॉप इज अ इम्पॉर्टेंट टास्क द कटिंग ऑफ द क्रॉप आफ्टर इट इज मैच्योर इज कॉल्ड हार्वेस्टिंग हार्वेस्टिंग इज डन इन इंडिया मैनुअली बाई सिकल और बाय मशीन्स नोन एज हार्वेस्टर्स आफ्टर हार्वेस्टिंग द ग्रेन सीड नीड टू बी सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम द चाफ एंड दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड थ्रेसिंग सम फार्मर्स ऑल्सो यूज विनोइंग मेथड्स फॉर द प्रोसेस ऑफ सेपरेटिंग सीड फ्रॉम चाफ सम पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया आर ऑल्सो फेमस फॉर देयर हार्वेस्ट फेस्टिवल्स आफ्टर थ्री और फोर मंथस ऑफ अ हार्ड वर्क इट्स द टाइम टू रिलैक्स फॉर द फार्मर्स द साइट ऑफ गोल्डन फील्ड ऑफ स्टैंडिंग क्रॉप लेडन विद ग्रेन्स fills the heart of the farmer with joy and a sense of well-being the effort of the past season have borne fruit and it is time to relax and enjoy a little the period of harvest is thus a great joy and happiness in all part of the india men and women celebrate it with a great enthusiasm especially festivals associated with the harvest seasons are pongal baisakhi holi diwali and bihu the last and most crucial step of crop production and management is storage storage of the produce is important task if crop grains have to be kept for longer time it should be safe from moisture insects rats and microorganism fresh harvested crops have more moisture so before storage they need to be dried in the sunlight for storage of grains at large quantity granaries and silos are used to save from pests like rats and insects at home dried leaves neem leaves are used for storage of grains